Hi guys, so I'm going to show you how to make a real quick, easy, clean looking resume. Rest assured, the one on the screen right now is not the good looking resume. However, this is what a lot of resumes look like, unfortunately. It's very basic, kind of a bullet list, and that's about it. What we're going to make it look like is this one right here. It's simple, it's clean. And if you need to add more sections to it, it's really easy using this uh, this format to add another section. So I'll show you, we'll get started here with just a new document. And the first thing we need to create is going to be this section with the name and the information here. So the way we do that is we insert a 2 by one table. And over here you type your name then over in the second column here of this table you want to right align the text and then type your address your phone number and your email address now one thing I should note this left column here you want to click in here and come over to the layout under the table tools and click in the alignment group here there's an align bottom left button just go ahead and click on that and that'll let your name rest down here in the bottom um, we'll change the size later to make it look good and we'll get rid of all these boxes on these tables that we'll be using throughout this resume later that'll make it look better too so click outside of this first table hit enter once type the word objective and then enter twice, um, actually enter three times, why not? Then you want to make another table here. This one is going to be for your work history. Uh, all the tables we use will be two columns wide. Um, for work history, you're going to adjust it based on, I guess, how much work history you have. One thing to keep in mind for this format, the top two rows of this table will be used for the heading so you won't actually start putting any work information until the third row down um, it may sound weird but it'll make sense in the end for this one let's just go ahead and we'll make it a, a six row so it's a two by six table we'll insert that and this first column right here the very first cell we'll just write work experience you can write work history you can uh, just type experience. You can do it however you want. The second row here will completely skip. And then down here in this row, what you'll want to do is type the the year, the month and the year of your most recent job. So just I'll just throw some random numbers in here. And then after you've typed the the start date, this is when you started the job. You do two dashes and then start typing well you probably still work there so type present and then hit tab so we'll follow this same format for entering the dates for all of this work experience one thing I forgot to do this first row the whole row highlight both of them and then come up to layout under your table tools and just click merge cells because we're gonna slide this margin over and we don't want it to affect that top line of text so slide this margin right over here so that it's just outside of your date range. And then over in this one, you can see on the sample, we're going to start putting in some information. So what I like to do is come up, click Home, click Bold, or you can Control B, that'll do the same thing, and type your position or title from that company that you worked at get rid of bold insert a comma and a space and then italicize the font again that's up here in the font group under the home tab or you can just hit control I and then you want to type the company name space dash space what that's going to do is put an end dash in there and then type the city and state and then hit enter and get rid of italics because you don't need the italics here now for we're not going to worry about putting the content in for now 
Um, I'll show you later what it looks like after you've got some filler, well, after you've got your content in there. So then we'll just put more random date ranges here. Uh, wait. And you can see it's automatically putting that M dash here between everything. And again, we'll just copy this. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll copy it. You will want to retype everything, and, and I'm assuming you've worked different jobs and not different date ranges for the same job. Unless you've progressed in the same company, then you can do it. Uh, we'll do here. We worked here for a while, so we'll do that. Three oh six. And of course this video is just showing you the format. This isn't how to write a resume. I will have different videos for that that you can reference. Um, and I should have links in the description so that you can look those up real quick. And again, that's going to that's gonna change based on the industry you're in. Um, what your resume is going to look like or where work experience goes and education goes and all that. Uh, for now, click outside of this box. I know this looks very bare bones, but we'll fix it up soon. And you're going to insert another table. This one, uh, I'll do a 2 by 3 If you have more educational background, you can do more. But 2 by 3 works for me. I've only gone to one college, one degree, so that works for me. Click that, you'll insert it. And then here, again, merge these first two cells here in the first row so we'll go up under table tools after highlighting that row and click merge cells and then here we're going to type educational background you can just type education you can type whatever you think suits that this section best this margin here you need to drag it over so it's exactly the same as the margin in the previous table uh, just for consistency and then down in this this cell right here you need to put the dates that you attended that college or school Maybe if you just have high school then do the dates for your high school experience and we'll just make up a date range here something like that why not And then here you would want to make your font bold and type the degree that you earned. Get rid of bold. Do comma, space, italics. Again, control I for italics, control B for bold. Type the university or school. Space, dash, space, city, and state. And hit enter. Get rid of italics. Now, we'll start formatting this thing, putting in some just some filler content so we can make it look uh, legitimate, or at least look like the final product. So I'll just take this filler content, and we'll use the same for every one of these categories here. So control C for copy, come over. So this first one is going to depend on your name, how long it is. But you need to bold the font, just make that stand out. You need to make sure employers know that. <laughs> That's your name. And then uh, crank that font size up a little bit. You don't have to go too big, nothing too gnarly here, but it has to stand out. And then you can see this little box up to the top left of the table. You want to click that, and it highlights the whole table. Come up here and just get rid of the borders you don't need borders on that come down to objective and bold that and then this table here I'll just plug in the filler content below and after you're done typing your your experience here always hit enter um, I just think that adding that extra white space looks a little better and it spaces out the experience and makes it easier for an employer to read And again, we need to get rid of the borders 
on this table. The reason I keep them here throughout when I'm working on it is that it's easier to see my text boundaries. Um, so it's easier to work on the format of it. But once I've got the format down, th those are unnecessary. So get rid of the borders there. And then we'll change this work experience here in a second. Come down here, you'll have some content you write about your education background. Um, and then once again, click on that little box up to the top left and get rid of the borders there. No borders. Now we're going to format our titles. So highlight work experience, make it bold. And this is just a font I think looks good with this. Do Arial, and then in this font group, click this button here in the bottom right. It'll bring up this font dialog box, and just make it all caps. Hit OK. And one more thing is I like to underline that title. And then what you can do is just have it highlighted, click Format Painter once, and come down to Education Background. Just highlight it and it'll make it that same font. And then all you gotta do is add in that bottom border. And then, one more thing, I forgot this. This whole table here, you want a bottom border under that too. I think it looks better. You can choose to go without it. Um, now, this looks really good. This is the sample resume we wanted to make. But if you think that you need uh, some more white space, go ahead and add that in. You know, you can just you want everything spaced out a little better go ahead and do it if you want your objective down a little bit go right ahead I didn't put any filler information for the objective that's okay I'll cover that in another one and if you realize that you forgot say you forgot to put a job under here you can just highlight this row right click and then insert a row below and then down here you can just start typing away and add another work experience in there. I don't need that for this one so I don't need to do that. Same thing will work in the education background. And thank you for watching. That's your basic resume. Uh, if you have any questions just write down in the comments and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you.